Healthy Lifestyle Crib Presents How to Quickly Get Over a Breakup in 7 Steps Number 1. Stop Being Distracted You could try to bury your feelings after a breakup by keeping yourself occupied all the time. You can start plenty of new hobbies, excessively interact with people, or work excessively. You'll do anything to avoid thinking about your ex, but you know what happens when you stop. Your ex is typically the first thought that comes to mind. Distractions do help you avoid cravings and fight the impulse to be lazy in some situations, but there is a major issue when it comes to relationships. When you divert your attention, you aren't genuinely dealing with your loss. You're simply avoiding the problem, it's the same as burying those unfavorable emotions deep inside. You might feel better in the moment, but those feelings didn't go away. They'll slowly come back because you didn't try to figure out what went wrong. But how can we be sure that distractions don't work? Well it might be difficult to analyze breakups since they are so unique and varied, but in 2018, a group of academics tested the effectiveness of diversions. They looked at different ways to lessen feelings of love after a breakup. To do this, they got a group of people who had just ended a relationship and had them try out three different cognitive strategies, negative appraisal, self-acceptance, and distraction. As it turned out, distraction was one of the best methods for instant relief but was entirely ineffective over time. They felt just as much love for their ex after that distraction passed. In other words, distractions won't help you move on from your old relationships. In order to deal with your negative emotions, instead of trying to suppress them, allow yourself to feel sad and grieve. It helps to talk things over with a friend or family member. In order to move past those underlying difficulties, you must first admit their existence, therefore do your best to identify the reasons for the split and your future concerns. Number 2. Establish a distance. Most individuals underestimate the emotional significance of objects. For instance, a shirt can remind you of a trip you took with someone you love. A souvenir can take you back to a Christmas you both celebrated. Although they appear to be random things on the surface, they actually hold a variety of memories and deep emotions. Get rid of sentimental items after a breakup. It's time to cut all physical ties with your ex because every time you look over at that tiny trinket on your shelf or put on that t-shirt you bought on vacation, you'll slip back into the same old patterns. You'll recall the person you lost and find yourself back in the same situation because you weren't prepared to make a clean split. It's time to start a new chapter in your life, but first you must put the past behind you. You must leave your entire past behind you, not just the terrible but also the positive. Even if you aren't ready to toss those gifts away, get them out of your sight. Put them in storage or bury them somewhere in your closet. The goal is to remove such reminders from your life because the longer you look at them, the longer it will take to move on. Number 3. Complete the picture. So many people romanticize their ex after a big breakup because they remember all the good things about them and all the fun things they used to do with them. They imagine their relationship as flawless, but they forget that your ex wasn't perfect. Like everyone, they had weaknesses. When you look back on your relationship, you need to remember both the good and the bad parts. If you idealize your partner, those lingering feelings will last a lot longer than they need to, and if that's not bad enough, idealizing someone will also make you feel like you made a terrible mistake. That ending your relationship was the worst thing you've ever done, but that's not true at all. So many couples get back into former relationships out of pure guilt, only to break up weeks or even days later, so avoid making the same mistake. If you want to get over a past relationship, you need to stop romanticizing the person and see things as they really were. Number 4. Think about your health. One thing is certain after a painful breakup, your ex simply wasn't the perfect person for you. They may have put you down or made you feel insecure. Maybe your ex couldn't accept a big part of who you are, or maybe they tried to pull you away from your family. My point is that your ex was making you unhealthy, thus your split, no matter who began it, will be one of the healthiest things that ever happened to you. You should think about why your ex wasn't a good match for you. In addition to being very healing, reflection also gives you hope. Learning about yourself in a relationship can help you find the kind of partner you've been looking for and also reveal the abundance of possibilities that lie ahead. Number 5. Manage your sleeping habits. After a breakup, your sleep pattern frequently changes negatively. Either you sleep too little, cutting your regular 8 hours down to a pitiful 5 or 6, or you sleep excessively and feel exhausted all the time. Because improper sleep habits keep your mood down, your energy depleted, and your enthusiasm at an all-time low, both of these modifications to your sleep schedule will seriously affect you and your capacity to move forward. That's what happens when you don't get enough sleep. Getting enough sleep can help you get over a breakup. Check that you get at least 8 hours of sleep per night, not 2 hours less or 2 hours more. 
Even if you're exhausted, you can't keep sleeping since you're not genuinely tired. After the breakup, your brain has been bombarded by stress and powerful emotions, making it hard to start. The best course of action is to maintain a regular sleep cycle and coerce your brain to do the same. You'll recover faster if you can keep that up. Number 6. Restart your daily routines. There is more than just your sleep schedule that goes haywire. Good habits, like eating well and working out regularly, tend to get left behind. Why? Because it can be challenging to feel motivated and disciplined when a relationship has ended. Maintaining such good routines requires a lot of self-control, but emotional exhaustion makes self-control impossible, making it harder and harder to drive oneself in the correct path. Your partner might have also become a part of your daily life. You might have gone to the gym or cooked together. It's possible that you've gotten used to executing your routines with your partner at your side, and that without them, you're finding it difficult to maintain your momentum. If this describes you, it's time to restart your routines. It's time to completely revamp them. Try going to the gym at a different time of day or beginning a completely new set of exercises. Try cooking a cuisine you've never tried before at home. Find new people to engage in your healthy routines with. To move on, you need to break those links and get rid of everything that reminds you of your ex, so reboot your routines and start a healthy lifestyle. Number 7. Discover yourself again. The final step in getting over a breakup is to see your split as a chance to rediscover yourself. You can do this by using all of the time and energy you would have spent on the relationship to do so. To discover the version of yourself that existed prior to the relationship. You, who squandered hours on pointless side tasks. As you're rediscovering yourself, there's one very crucial thing to keep in mind. You didn't have to please anyone but yourself. After a breakup, you should maintain your single status because many people try to replace the vacuum by entering another relationship. A new companion could initially improve your mood, but in the long run, this relationship will harm you because you won't have the chance to enjoy your independence, follow your true passions, or truly respect yourself as a single person. Thank you for watching, and please subscribe so you won't miss out on any amazing new content.